Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old-school feel about it. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, Luka Modric. He's someone, Peter, who reads the game a little bit quicker than everyone else. He's got fantastic technique too, and that allows him to weigh his through balls to near perfection, as well as keep hold of it when he's under pressure. He's a real leader out there, someone who can take control of the game and maintain it. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. There's the whistle, and here we go. Valverde. Modric. It's Modric. It's Modric! Oh, that was no routine save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. And it's been taken short. Alaba. Now it's Modric. Crosses it in. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. Modric. He's gone for goal! His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Gaia, Jose Gaia with the crossfield ball, Valverde plays a clever pass, Diacabi, it is deadlocked, and it's been taken straight back, Bass. That's great strength on the ball. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Modric. And here's Benzema. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Real Madrid get themselves into the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Gabriel. He's through, now is he in? Well, that's pretty clear, it is a foul. 
Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Denied by a great piece of goalkeeping. Well, I thought his starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. He's got away. That's it! He's missed, but by that far... Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Good challenge. He just stood firm. That's a promising ball. And he's searching through. Carlos Soler. Gaia. Forward it goes. Gets away from his opponent. Vinicius Junior. Oh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Oh, that's surely a foul free kick. And he is going into that little black book. It's Modric. Carlos Soler. Real Madrid are looking odds on to go in at the break with their advantage intact. Vinicius Junior. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Vas. Real Madrid are in control here on the brink of half time. Just brushed off the ball there. Modric tries to stroke it through. Vinicius Junior. Good run. Ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Alaba does well there. Alert. Dear Cabi. Gonzalo Cuedes. That'll be a throw in. Carlos Soler. And it's Gaia. Hefty. He's been taken down, and the referee has pointed at the spot. And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. Formality, we're level. A time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. And it only took a little drop of the shoulder to send the keeper completely the wrong way. Didn't he take it well? for half time so a very watchable game so far action at both ends and the team's level it's been a really interesting game up to now and the sides are predictably very well matched hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half but as it stands it's one each so we're just settling back in oh shooting chance superb goal and that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They were obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it. And that was a good example. Great contact. And the keeper had very little chance. Valencia get themselves into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Shoots! <laughs> no 
Modric with the short one. And here's Modric. Casemiro! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Modric. Gaia. Bas. Valverde battles to win it back. Now it's Benzema. Gets on the end of it. Has a hit! He's got away with one there. some movement on the bench and we are going to see a change he tries to get it forward quickly oh that's clearly not what he wanted to do Diaz really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out Carlos Soler Gonzalo Quedes. Gaia. Leads it over to the other flank. Quarter of an hour into the second half. Well, the omens aren't looking favourable for them because they're, they're chasing the ball too much. Gaia. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. He's had a crack, it's broken loose. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Tries a shot! The referee's awarded a free kick. Azar. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. A buccaneering run from the defender. Away from immediate danger. And it's Isco. Real Madrid are definitely going about this the right way. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Face to... He's gone for it! There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to... Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. Cruz cut out in the nick of time. Quick glance at goal. Going for goal. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. He's gone for it. And the finish. And the lead stays intact just. Tony Crowes must have known he could ill afford to miss that. He's Mr. Angry now. Isco. Diakabi. The leveller or the knockout blow. Either way, it's got to happen right away. All they need is one big chance and it may do the trick. 
Carlos Soler. Gonzalo Guedes plays it forward. Oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. Valencia probably could have killed things off, but they should be okay here. Is there any support? He and Diaz! Back of the net! They have stolen level at the last! What a clean hit. No one gets in the way of that. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. All square again into the dying minutes. Crunching tackle. Played into space out wide. And he's made sure that that won't get through. His official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. And it's Isco. And it's got through. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Whistle's gone, and the referee has given a penalty. Real Madrid has been handed a game-changing chance. Well, the players are pleading, but it's not going to convince him to change his mind now. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. This to complete the turnaround. Turned the game on its head, now... And that is it, the referee has seen it up. Well, somehow they turned it round. Every ounce of energy, emotional, physical, mental, is spent. That is some win.